Okay, so I'll just go in to Grade Pro, um, the opening page. Um, just very quickly, some things before you even sign in. You can uh, have a look at the grade handbook. So similar to the Cochran handbook, there's a handbook all about uh, grade um, and all the information there that I'm going to talk about will be there as well. And uh, we also have other uh, resources. So we have tutorials, uh, modules that you can um, review about grade. Um, other publications, so I won't go into those, but those are available too. Um, and um, you can always contact us and support us, and I, I'll list those contacts later as well. Okay, so I'm just going to lo log in, and it's again, it's freely available um, to anyone. All um, anyone can create an account. And so I'll log in here. Um, again, if you, there's lots of uh, tutorials and help to d figure out uh, what to do. So here again, tutorials. A lot of them we have featured on YouTube, so I, they're very publicly available. Um, I'll just get started. Um, you always come back to your projects. If you are new to Grade Pro, you'll have an empty page there. Um, but I just have a few in there for now. Um, but the key points here are um, you have a help button. So again, the grade handbook is available. The tutorials are available there. Um, you can always provide feedback to us. So if while you're going through Grade Pro you have a question, um, you can just click on that and send us a question or provide feedback. Um, and um, there's multiple people answering those questions. So the first thing is, as soon as you get in, you've decided that you're going to start a new project, um, and basically you can start right away by importing a file from RevMan um, to create your summary findings table. So I will import my RevMan file that I have for the hip protectors. And so obviously you'll have to, from Archie, you would have to download your RevMan file so that you have it on your computer, because uh, it's usually just on the server. Um, but it will be this .rm5 file, the RevMan file, and I'll just open it, and I'll just import that. So right now I have this new project, and it's my hip protectors versus no hip protectors for preventing fractures in older people. And that's my question there. Um, just to give you a little bit of bearings, um, down the side, it's similar to RevMan, um, down that left-hand side is, is uh, more information, more tasks that you can do. Um, as I said before, this whole software is to uh, help people um, do tables and also to create guidelines. So we're going to focus on the table section, uh, which is our comparisons here. Um, see how it came up and it's a develop evidence tables. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, so very easily and quickly you can just go right into your review that you imported. It's already started to create your summary of findings table for you. It's taken all of the data from the RevMan file and put it into and starting to make a summary of findings table. Um, it just pulls anything that you've done a meta-analysis for, and that's key, um, because if you do have outcomes where you didn't do a meta-analysis, they're not going to be automatically uploaded into the table. It only takes the data that you have from, that you've done a meta-analysis for. Um, so the key point here is, is you have to start setting up your table first. Um, it looks great, there's already some information brought in there, um, but it's, it looks, you know, obviously it doesn't look very there's a lot of pelvic fractures. If you did some subgroups in your analysis, it's pulled in all of those subgroups, and you have to decide what you want to present. 